A few weeks ago, I was sitting in a travel agency watching customers interact uh, with the people uh, in that shop. And different people were coming in for different types of holidays. So we had family holidays, we had retired couples going away for the first time in ages, and we had honeymooners. And honeymooners uh, came into the shop and sat down, and they were asked some really interesting questions. And one of the questions was, um, what kind of budget do you have to spend on this honeymoon. Now the word budget is a terrible word because it conjures up the image of a single amount of money. Now I'm going on my honeymoon. I don't really want to think about that for now. I want to think about the wonderful time I'm going to have on this romantic holiday and then I'll think about the price in a minute. But get me excited about it first. Then to make matters worse, when they actually started looking at the different options on the screen, they said, should we look at something cheaper? Should we look at something cheaper? So what image does that conjure up? It conjures up a worse hotel, a worse beach, a worse time in general. This one looks a bit expensive. To who? To you maybe, but what about the couple who are looking at it? This one looks a bit expensive. Now, cheap or expensive are opinions. They're entirely subjective. You and I will have completely different ideas of what expensive or cheap actually means. So we shouldn't use those words. They are opinions. You have things that are lower cost options and higher cost options. All of them represent great value. That's the important thing. Nothing is cheap, nothing is expensive. Everything is great value to someone.